this is Azada. In this video, I will show you how you can create a loan application. As there are several users involved in the loan application process, I will create a loan application as a loan officer and submit the application for approval to the credit committee. Then, once it's approved, uh, the person who will be disbursing the loan will be the branch manager. So let's log in into the system as a loan officer by his or her credentials. So uh, loan officer, the password is as follows. So once uh, the loan officer logs in into the system, uh, he or she will need to go to the tab called profiles and find the needed customer. Okay, uh, let's say that the customer who is applying for a loan is Erica Watson and in order to create a loan application, you need to click on the create application and specify the following details. Here in loan product, we need to select the loan product from the available list. Okay, let's say that the customer is applying and this is uh, an individual loan. Uh, the field currency is filled automatically uh, depending on the chosen product. Also, the schedule type is uh, filled automatically uh, because it was already predefined when we created this loan product. Here in net amount, we need to set the requested loan amount by the customer. Let's say that the customer is requesting for 5000 Okay, we put 5,000, uh, then we need to specify the interest rate uh, within this limit. So, again, the interest rate can be minimum 3% and maximum 36%. Let's say that the interest rate is 18% for this customer. Uh, then, here in grace period, we need to specify the period when the customer will be paying only the interest. But... Uh, let's say I, uh, there is no grace period for this customer. In maturity, we need to specify the length of the loan in period. Uh, okay, it's let's say maturity is uh, 12 months. Uh, then here in disbursement date, uh, we need to set the date when the loan should be disbursed. Okay, let's say uh, it should be disbursed uh, on August 7th. And here in preferred repayment date, we need to set the date when the first repayment should be done. Okay, let's say that first repayment will be done on September the 9th. Once you have specified everything, uh, you need to click on the preview button uh, to simulate the repayment schedule. And if everything is okay, uh, you need to click the save button to proceed. Okay, uh, we can uh, go to the tab called here, we can go to the tab called attachments. Here we can upload the documents associated with uh, the application. To upload a document, you just need to click the button called add, choose a file from your computer. Okay, let's say that you need the bank statement of your customer. When you upload the document, there is also space if you need to put any command. You can put some commands. Let's say this document is bank statement for the last 12 months. So you can upload the document and it will uh, appear here. And you can, the same way, you can upload more documents. Uh, please note that Documents can be uploaded at customer registration level and at the loan application level. So the next step here is guarantors. We can add people who guarantees to pay for the customer's debt in case the customer defaults on the loan obligation. To add a guarantor, you need to click the add button. Then here in name, you can se select a person from the uh, from the profiles list. Let's say 
um, this one and then you have to specify their relationship to this customer let's say okay uh, brother and specify the amount okay let's put uh, 2500 in the tab collaterals uh, we can add collaterals and collaterals is a property or asset that a borrower offers as a way for a lender to secure the loan. If the customer stops making the payments, the lender can seize the collateral. Uh, please note that you can specify the standard fields when uh, you create collaterals in the configuration section. So in order to add the collateral, we need to click the add button here. We need to then we need to select collateral type. Let's say it's car. Then specify the collateral name and amount. Okay. Uh, with our custom fields feature, you can specify additional information. Let's say that you need. Uh, to capture additional information and you can create a questionnaire uh, with the custom fields. If you click edit, you will see uh, all the questions and when you create custom fields, you can make fields required and optional. So required fields will have this uh, little uh, red star. And um, you can fill this information and you can And once you have filled everything, you can save and uh, submit the application. So let's say that now we have specified everything and we can submit it for approval. So uh, now uh, let's say that the application is submitted and once uh, the application is submitted, there will be uh, one more tab, which is called Credit Committee. Uh, when the loan officer clicks Credit Committee, he or she will see uh, the Credit Committee members. So as you see, the loan officer can't approve because the loan officer doesn't have permissions to approve. So uh, now the Credit Committee members should um, should uh, check the application and either approve or reject the application. So let's log in into the system as the administrator because uh, the administrator is responsible for uh, for approval. So I'm log. I need to log out and log in as admin. Okay. So after a loan application submitted to the credit committee, uh, credit committee members will log in. Uh, they will so they will find the application, which is this one, the last one. Uh, when the application is opened, uh, we need to go to the last uh, last tab, and we will see uh, the list of uh, loan applications. So, a uh, credit committee is a group of employees who review loans files and depending on their evaluation on repayment capacity, risks and completeness of the loan file, uh, decide to approve the loan, reject it or send it back for rework. So, whenever you log in as a credit committee member, you have three options here. You have approve, reject and refer. Uh, you can approve if con con the conditions seem satisfying for you, so they have your approval for disbursement. Reject if you are not satisfied with request loan conditions, you can reject the loan application. And some conditions, if some conditions should be changed to meet financial organizations requirements, you can send uh, the loan application for rework. And if there is more than one person in the credit committee, then every member should make his or her decision. As soon as all members approve the application, it can be dispersed. So um, right now, uh, let's say that the loan, the credit committee approves the loan. 
Okay, we can, uh, here we can add some commands. Uh, let me click confirm. Okay, it, now it is approved, but uh, as you see, the create committee uh, will not disperse because the create committee uh, doesn't have this permission. And let's say that uh, the branch manager uh, is responsible for disbursing uh, the loan. So we, again, we need to log out now and log in into the system as the branch manager. And branch. Okay. And now we need to go to the loan application. So now this is the loan application, the last one. Uh, we see that the status of the loan application is approved. The, the branch manager opens the uh, loan application and there is uh, this burst button here. The branch manager can click the disburse button and uh, the loan will become active. So the, the loan will become active and it will be available in the loan in the loan list. So this is the uh, loan and we can see, we can open and see the uh, repayment schedule and we can perform uh, different transactions with this uh, loan. So I will talk about operations with loans such as repayments and reschedule in another video and thank you for your attention and see you next time.